Welcome back to another video exploring some of the features of Craft CMS. Now in this video we're going to take a look at something called matrix fields. Now these are hugely flexible fields that allow you to build content up in your pages literally as you're going through the page. So let's dig in to some more detail. So I'll go across from my dashboard and click into entries and I'm going to click into an existing entry to begin with because I think that's going to be an easy way to see what we mean by matrix fields. Now if we scroll down here you can see that we start to get under article body these boxes that are outlined in grey. Now I can collapse these by either double clicking on the head bar or I can just go to the little cog icon in the corner and choose the collapse option. Now if I just collapse some of these options down there's quite a few matrix fields in this entry as you can see, but we've got different types of content. So you can see we've got text, we've got a pull quote, then we're back to some text, then we're into an image, then we've got another heading. So we've got quite a lot of variety of content. Now with those all collapsed, you can see that I can then add new sections and those might be made up of headings, text, pull quotes, images, gallery, or quotes. Now those sorts of types of headings, uh, sections rather, would all be set up and customized during the website build. But these matrix fields give loads of flexibility and make it really powerful to edit your entry. So for example, even though I have all of these fields collapsed, I can still pick and choose any of these sections and reorder them however I choose. So I can just drag and drop these to put them in a new order. So it makes it really flexible to shuffle content around to get the best layout. Now I could then choose to add new sections of content literally by choosing the content type that I need to add. So for example, let's put in a pull quote and then I can have certain fields within each different type of content. So for example, a pull quote here just has a simple text field and a position option. If I choose a heading, that's only going to have the text option. If I choose text, then you can see that I've got our WYSIWYG or what you see is what you get editor, which allows me some greater formatting control. If I add an image section, that's when I can upload images into my content. So as you can see, loads of flexibility in terms of what a matrix block will offer you. And the key thing to distinguish these matrix blocks is this option at the bottom where you can add different types of content. So that's an existing entry and don't forget that you can use the live preview feature which is up here on the right hand side and that makes it really easy to see how your content breaks down and how it displays on the front end of a site in real time. Let's just go across though and create a new entry and just see what that looks like. So we'll go across to create a new entry and obviously we've got our static fields like our title, this featured option, the featured image and the short description and then we've got a heading and a subheading. But we've got no matrix fields whatsoever. So as we're creating this piece of content, we can literally pick and choose the sections that we want depending on the content that we have. So let's for example choose we'll have a new heading. Then we're going to put a text block in. And as we said, because this is a formatting field, we can choose certain styles that we might be able to apply to some of our content. Then if we add a pull quote, we can add our quote section here. And all of a sudden you can see how we're building up the content on our page, literally based on the content that we have available. So if I don't have an image, there's no point having an image section. If I don't have a quote, I don't need a quote section. So it just gives a lot more flexibility around the content types that you're going to include on the page. So let's just fill this out a little bit further and put some more dummy content in here. And let's just short description. Now this is a short tip that sometimes if I can't just remember if it's been a while since I've been into a particular site and I can't just remember where some of the fields come out, I will just literally fill in the fields with the titles, the field labels, and then I can just go across to my live preview and then I can see exactly where some of those bits and pieces are coming through. So clearly I can see now that 
image isn't right, but let's just, for the purposes of exploring the matrix field, we can look down here and I can see where my heading appears, where my subheading appears, where my text is coming through. Okay, so that quote here doesn't work particularly well. That might want to be centered and that might give me a little bit more freedom and flexibility or just make the page look a little bit more visually appealing. And as we said, we can easily shuffle these pieces of content around to suit. So quote, as you can see, looks very similar to a heading, but obviously we would have a, 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 an actual quote that has been included that might flow over two or three different lines. So hopefully that just explains a little bit more background about matrix fields and just how flexible these can be as you're building up content in your pages.